What is up, students? Hope you're all doing well. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020, and I want to talk first about attendance and how I'm going to be taking attendance. So pay attention because attendance is going to count. Uh, first of all, I need to say I understand that everybody is figuring this out and we're going about it at our own pace, but as far as attendance goes, what I'll be doing is if we have a, if I have office hours or if we are having synchronous learning where I set up a Google Hangout meet session and I'm expecting for you to attend, uh, you to attend. If you attend, then you'll be marked present for the day. There are other ways though that I'm also going to count attendance with assignments. So be aware that, you know, if you turn an assignment in, I'm going to count you as present for the days that that assignment was due. I'll give you an example. If I post an assignment on Wednesday, today's Wednesday, and I say that it's due on Friday, if you submit that assignment on Friday, then I will mark you present for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? I hope that makes sense. So attending live sessions will count as present for attendance, and submitting your work will count as present for attendance. And I'll be entering those absences, uh, presence, you know, your present status uh, onto PowerSchool. There will probably be another way, or at least I'm thinking about uh, offering another way for you to be present with regards to attendance. I'm thinking about setting up like a daily question or a question of the day where I will post it to Google Classroom and you pop in there, you know, at least once a day, see that question, answer that question, and it'll be a easy, you know, no more than five minute type of question. Uh, and if you submit that answer, you'll be marked present for the day. So if you see a question of the day or attendance question of the day, then make sure you do that. And I promise those will not be tough questions. Uh, some of the questions will just be like, you know, do you feel overburdened by all your online work? Or uh, do you, what are you doing to stay mentally sane, right? Uh, what, uh, what's your favorite cheese? Do you like mustard? I don't know, just random questions. Some of them will also be work or content related though. So uh, again, just to recap here, attendance. Attending live sessions counts as attendance. Submitting work counts as attendance. And if I decide to, to implement this, the daily question will also count as attendance. Now, let me talk about my office hours. So I had office hours yesterday from 10 to 12, and it was really good to see and speak to some of you. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you're feeling this, but I'm definitely missing seeing all of you on a daily basis. And uh, th these online, you know, chat sessions or video conference sessions, it's just a way for us to kind of check in, you know, on each other, maybe chat a little bit. Uh, you know, we took, if you have specific questions, it's great. It's great to hear you ask them and I can address them right there. But for the most part, at least for me, it was a little bit, I gotta say, it was therapeutic to be able to talk to some of both my AP language students and my public speaking students. I miss, I, like I said, I miss being with you, interacting with you, and to kind of just have that, to replicate that, even if it's in my kitchen through a computer, it, it was nice. So I encourage you, even if you're just gonna pop in for five minutes, you know, come into those sessions. It'll count as attendance, and it'll be great. It'll be great just to hear your voice and to maybe even see you, and I get to say hi, right? That's, that's always a nice thing, so hey, I'll be there. As of now, I'm setting up, again, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. till noon, right? First hour from 10 to 11 is primarily for AP Lang students. Second hour is for my public speaking students. But if you can't make it according to that block of time, then you could pop into either session. It doesn't matter. Just know that if you're an AP Lang student going in after 11, the discussion that's probably taking place is going to be primarily about public speaking, uh, but that's fine. And if I, you know, I'll find a way to get to you. So, you know, don't worry about that. It's also a great way for just, just to get feedback on your work. So, you know, if you have ideas, you could shoot them at me and I can give you my, my responses. Come, 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 come on in.
all right? All right, so now I want to explain to all of you what you should have done for my course up until this point. I also want to use this video not for a formal lesson per se, but to explain the upcoming assignment that I'll probably be posting later today on my Google Classroom. Now, first and foremost, what, what should you have done? Well, in case you're unaware, I posted some videos to YouTube and I was teaching you certain things. So hopefully you watch those. If you didn't watch them, please watch them. I posted a video on planning and preparing the informative speech. I posted a video on outlining and I posted a video on slideshows. So please make sure that you have watched those three videos. Now, as far as work that you should have done for me, you should have submitted the planning sheet. You should uh, be submitting soon, really soon, the outline, the typed up outline. And coming up is the next assignment. So, oh, also, you should be working on your slideshow, right? As of now, I'm thinking that within the next few days, you know, I'm going to start figuring out the order of presentations. I'm going to figure out how we're going to do these speeches and we'll be doing them before you know it. So uh, be ready. Just be ready. As I said in another video, imagine I'm going to choose you as one of the first presenters. Will you be ready? Will you have practiced? Is your slideshow good to go? Do you know the material like the uh, back, like the back of your hand? All right. So let's, uh, let's, Maybe I'll take you down over here to the uh, computer camera angle so that I could just explain the assignment that I'll be posting in a little bit. But before I do that, let me just tell you what it is. It's very simple and straightforward. You are going to be watching a handful of videos of student informative speeches. Now, these are videos that I found on YouTube. I, I put them all into one playlist and I attach that playlist or a, a link to that playlist to my Google Classroom. Uh, in that same assignment where I attach that link, I also have an evaluation sheet. And I want you to do a couple of those evaluation sheets for two out of the five or six speeches that, uh, or I don't know how many I have posted there, seven. I want you to watch all of them, but you're only doing a, uh, an evaluation sheet on two. I do want you to do a little write-up for each speech, you know, just like you were doing a, if you were doing a peer evaluation sheet for each speech. Right, just a little bit about what's the topic, uh, what does the student do well, what does what could the student look to improve, and maybe some recommendations for improvement. Uh, but there are going to be two speeches that you're choosing from that playlist, and the choice is yours. Yours. However, I want one speech to be one that you think is good, right? That that you are maybe even almost impressed by, and I want one speech that you choose to be one that is, it you know, just okay, so-so, could be better in your opinion, and you'll do one evaluation sheet for the good one and one evaluation sheet for the okay-ish one. I think that's pretty clear, but just in case that's not clear enough, let me show you what I'll be posting in, uh, in a few hours. I haven't posted this yet, uh, but I'll be posting it later. Hold on, let me zoom in. Okay, that's actually, let me, let me go into edit view so it's just easier for me to show it to you. Hold on. For those of you who are watching this video on your phone, please do yourselves a favor and turn that phone so that it's in landscape mode. It'll be much easier for you to read all of this. Uh, none of this um, portrait mode where the video is only taking up the top portion of your screen. Let's go. Let's go full screen on this. All right, so this is the assignment that's coming up that I'm expecting you to do. And I'll give you a couple of days to do this. So it's called Evaluating Sample Informative Speeches YouTube, all right? And I say this assignment is pretty straightforward. You'll watch a handful of informative speeches, see my YouTube playlist attached to this assignment. Take some initial notes on each speech in your notebook. These initial notes don't have to be too extensive. You know, just jot down what the speaker does well and what the speaker can improve. But you want, also want to be thinking in terms of, okay, I have to choose two of these videos that I'm going to do a more in-depth evaluation and analysis of. So then you are going to complete a more extensive write-up for two of the speeches on this playlist. Use the attached worksheet to 
okay? So number one, complete a write-up or evaluation or breakdown of what you thought was one of the best speeches out of all of the videos. I'll tell you right now that I think that there are at least a few in there that are quite good, okay? And then complete a second write-up or breakdown of a so-so or just okay speech. Uh, you'll see there are some in there that aren't good. You'll see also some that are, you know, you might deem as pretty good. I would say choose a pretty good one. Uh, maybe not one that you thought was the best. And you'll explain why, why, you, think, why you think it's only so-so or, or it's pretty good. So uh, to make a long story short, you're watching a handful of speeches, choosing two out of them, one which is good, the other which is just okay or which could be better. And you're completing the attached worksheet for both of these speeches. You, so you'll be submitting two worksheets to me. Uh, here's a link to the playlist. And down here, let me show you. Down here, you're going to have the playlist. And here's the evaluation sheet. Hey. All right, I got it. Oh, so sample speech evaluation sheet, right? Uh, you'll be talking to us about the, you know, what is the video title or, I don't know, give the presenter a name or something. If the presenter tells us his or her name, you can jot it down. What's the topic? Uh, what they do for a grabber? What was their relevancy statement? All of this, right? So these are the things that I've already taught you about. Preview of points. Okay, no, I want you to also notice transitions. Uh, you're gonna take some notes on the details of main point number one, details of main point number two, details on main point number three. Uh, what about source citations? Are they in this speech? Tally them. Tell me how many there are. Uh, what are some strategies or approaches that the speaker uses to help his, his or her audience understand the concepts of the speech? Uh, what did the presenter do well? Okay, think what, did, what should the presenter look to improve? Critique the speaker's slideshow. Grade the speech. Explain why you would give it the grade. And please understand that... The ultimate reason why I'm having you do these evaluations is to reflect upon your own speech. Consider your own speech through the lens of this one. What ideas or strategies or approaches can you take away or adapt from this speech that you might be able to use in your speech? Or, and this is just as important, what can this speech show you what not to do for your own speech? All right, so that's the worksheet that I want you to do. You're gonna be doing two of them Okay, one for a good speech, one for an okay speech or a so-so speech. All right. I hope that makes sense. That's pretty much it for today as far as my video lesson or installment goes. I hope you're all doing well. I hope that, you know, you're staying put, obviously. I'm going to keep saying that. Stay home. Stay away from people. And uh, stay healthy. And... Make sure you take some breaks from the screen time, right? Uh, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to try to upload it to YouTube, but uh, I need to use this kitchen for the reason it was built, right? I gotta cook. I'm going to cook, okay? So, uh, yeah. Take care, everybody. Hope to hear from you soon. Peace. Oh, check this out.